Hello pool players, Ron here. Welcome to the Pool Student Channel and thank you very much for watching everyone. Have I got something great for you. If you're struggling with your pool stroke, you have come to the right video. I cannot wait to share it with you. I'm not gonna go into any uh, you know, theatrics or anything like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you a drill that I've been performing and I'm gonna show you two back-to-back -back nine ball runs. And you're actually going to see something and I'm going to share a little, a little mistake I made and it's all based on the drill work that I'm doing. And it just takes some time to get used to it and once we get it figured out, I guarantee you, you're going to be a heck of a lot better pool player. Most players, I will say this, and I say most players, amateur players, struggle with a quick transition. You see a lot of people jab stroking, poke stroking, whatever you want to call it. I can attest to this myself because I was there and it was such a struggle to change, but I figured it out and I can't wait to share it with you. So without further ado, let's look at this. Let me bring you up to speed on what it is that I struggled with and I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this. I was very quick on my transition from and actually had no pause. I would just bring my cue back and then quickly fire through, and then I would even recoil as I would shoot and not hold a follow through. So what I'm doing right now is I'm ingraining muscle memory by shooting just a simple straight in shot. And notice how, um, what I'm doing here is I'm actually going through like a pre-shot routine that is always the same. I look at the shot, I line it up, I step into it, Boom. Now the thing is, I want you to pay attention. There's a few shots here I wanna show you. Notice how when I step into it, I don't feather. I come right up to the ball and I'm on the shot line right away. Then I feather three times, come back, hold, and then shoot and follow through. Once again, step into the shot, boom. You're on it, no feather. One, two, three. Come back, pause, and fire. I used to golf, and one of the things that helped my golf game was maintaining a pre-shot routine. I've not done that in pool, and now that I've been working on this, this really seems to help. So now let's move on to these nine ball uh, racks. Um, here you're gonna see, I'm trying to plant the cue ball in the center of the table. I have a couple different breaks. I'll actually draw it back up table as well. Uh, but today I thought I'd just go ahead and just try to pop the cue ball and leave it right in the center of the table. Here, I'm looking at banking this ball and I've got a helper ball. You can't see it there, but I could glance off it if I don't quite make it. So the pocket becomes pretty huge at this point. All I have to do is get it on the right side of that ball. And luckily I, I clipped the ball and it did go in. Now, the nice thing about that is by hitting that bank at that angle, I was able to get on the two. That was my main concern. Now notice also as I shoot here, take a look at my feathers, take a look at everything that I'm doing. Once again, this is identical to what I did in that drill. And that's what this uh, video is all about if you're struggling with not having a pause and too quick on your transition perform that drill and perform it as long as you have to in other words like for me it's been about a week I haven't even posted any video I've been working on my stroke just working on what you saw there in that drill now I'm now bringing everything to the table three and fire. Notice I come back, I pause, and I follow through. Once again, let's look at this closely. Boom, I'm on the shot. One, two, three. Boom, through the ball. Same thing here. It's always the same. Try to make sure you always perform the same pre-shot routine. Three, come back, fire. Now, because I'm not used to this three feather situation, watch here. 
I bumped the cue ball. That is a foul. If that were in league play, I would have lost that game because my opponent would have been able to shoot this nine instead of me. So even I have got to get a feel for this three feather situation. Now, one of the things I will say, and I will make an adjust, adjustment from, from this, as I watch myself here, there's no need to really feather quickly to the cue ball. We can go lighter, but the main thing is, is to have a pre-shot routine of some sort. So I'm going to back off that, um, that feather and not be so abrupt with it and just be a little more gentle so that I will not let that happen. I really like that shot. I remember that shot. You know, I stayed down on it. I just stroked it with a little draw so I could stay in that window and get on this three. Once again, one, two, three. Come back, pause, fire, and hold the follow through. One, two, three. Boom. Little dripped ahead there. And now I want just the right angle so I can flow into the nine. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope this is of help to you. I guarantee it will be if you just do it. So get after it. Let me know how it works out for you. Leave some comments if you would. I'd appreciate that. I like the feedback. Please hit like and subscribe if you're new watching my channel for the first time. I'm trying to build a coalition of great pool players that want to learn. So let's learn together and take our games to the next level. Take everyone, and like I always say, keep on practicing.